somebody that lives in more than one dimension at once so that we can get more things done here and we can be more useful for the people who need us and the people who need less fortunate and they don't have the same capacity or the same understanding and they need help and so we have to do it intelligently and we have to do it quickly if we do it too slow we're going to miss the boat so we have to do it real fast. And so we have to accelerate ourselves to another level of, uh, of capacity. In other words, we try to do things right for the first time in our lives. <laughs> and so we do it. And why do we do it? Just for fun. I mean, what else? Is I mean, obviously, we're all going to be fine. I mean, you know, we got accounts and you know we've got rich grandparents and stuff like that. We're all going to be fine, there's no worries. But the thing is, why don't we dial it up to a higher level? We're trying to make things really work because we have a responsibility. We're not just here for fun. We've got, we're on a mission. We're on a mission from God, whether we want to be on it or not, you know. And so as soon as we take that ayahuasca, we realize, yes, we really do have something. man in the whole the whole Peruvian Amazon and Chart. Walter. Walter's been doing this with me for seven, eight years. And Jose and I have been doing it for seventeen years. And so we know exactly what to do and how to do it. And so Walter manages the nuts and bolts of the operation. In other words, he's gonna keep we're gonna get the water up to the top of this pot with just a little bit of blood so it's going, and then keep it bubbling and keep it very hot for a long period of time. All day and all night. Until we get all the energy out of the plants and into the water. On the other hand, it only affects you for four to five hours really intensely. It cleanses the blood, it cleanses the mind, it cleanses the neurological system, it rebalances everything and does it very efficiently. And if you get a little sleep and eat a little food, you can do the same thing the next time. You know, 
him. So it's a perfect vehicle for psychic inspiration and also for healing. What do you think about that, Gracia? Sounds reasonable, huh? Sounds very reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I agree. I think it's pretty reasonable. So let me show you how this stuff works. Now, we cook how I was here on an Amazonian level. Now, because we have abundant material, and we cook it in the perfect way, the way that it works extremely well. So that we have the strongest food. We can serve everybody within one, one shot glass like we do every night. Okay. Now, what we do first is we put the met, put the put us a soga into first. Follow somebody else's program. You know, you're gonna be mediocre. Okay. Thank you. you know, so now what we're doing is we're opening the door for you to become yourself. You know, and to just say, okay, well, who am I then? You know, what am I good at? You know, who do I want to be with? And how do I want to act? And, you know, what's in the best of circumstances? And what would I do? And so then we come up with a point and we realize we have the right to do that. I mean, that, that's our birthright. We're going to be healthy. We're going to be happy. We're going to be successful. And we're going to be able to solve problems. And we're going to not let anything worry us anymore. We're just going to forget about the problems and go to the solution. And then if we stand and smoke for too long, our eyes start to water. So we turn out, like whenever you're in smoke, you close your eyes. You know? It's just a no-brainer. You're in smoke, you close your eyes. You know? and then as soon as the smoke stops, you open up again. And so it's this coping mechanism. It's a very natural reaction you know, to using your native intelligence to make the right decision at every given moment. And so, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to open up that freedom and liberation inside of you and introduce you to that level of happiness, to that level of capacity. So that <laughs> you make the right decision at the right time, and you don't worry so much about the problem, but you go directly to the solution, you know? And so that's what we're doing here on a daily basis. And the other thing is that it puts you in the frequency to where you understand that your life depends on coordinating with the natural world around you. The natural world is the plants, the animals, all of the wildlife around you. What it does is it resonates with the wild part inside of you, which is where you have the healing stored away. That will allow you to become strong, smart, and alive. Because you have a wild jungle inside of you. And you got a wild jungle outside of you. So this medicine puts you in touch with the wild jungle outside your door. And that you, you hear it singing to you by the birds, and you see coming in with the wind, you see coming in with the lightning and thunder, all this stuff. That has to be a part of you. And you like it because it resonates with the same jungle that's inside. And it's opening up the part of you that you've ignored and that you need in order to be yourself again. So it opens up a big fountain of energy, and it starts solving your problems on a regular and very strategic level. And so that's what we're inviting you to do here. And I really appreciate your intelligence and your dedication to coming in this far afield to do this with us here in the middle of the Amazon because it's a wild place. And that's why it's so effective. And that way, that's why we get so much done in such a short time. You know? And so you can do 10 years of therapy in 20 days you know? because we accorded that. And you'll, you'll feel that. And like Paul felt it last night. You know, he realized that he got presented with a program and it was like a little more than he bargained for. <laughs> and now he's assimilating it, you know. And that's what we all do because we realize that we've been wasting time long enough and now we're going to get down to brass tacks and we're going we're gonna to really use our native equipment and we're going to start making solutions. And we're going to start sidestepping. And we're going to go right to the solution. So welcome and thank you so much for your attention. Okay, thanks a lot. What are you doing? Do you know what I'm doing? And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Now, anybody who'd like to go kayaking or like to go on a, a river trip or something, they just open your mouth and say the word and we'll put it together for you. So here we are, we're all available for you. You know, to take it wherever you want to go. And so, whatever you want to do is fine with us. You know? We just want you to enjoy yourself. The best thing you can do during the day, because a lot of you have been through very serious catharsis last night. In other words, you've got medicine inside your body. There's a process going on. There's a process going on. A chemical change 
a neurological reorganizing. And so you want to be real gentle with yourself. But the best thing to do is you got to do something to exteriorize your attention. You don't, you don't want to be narcissistic all the time. You want constantly to be thinking about yourself and your problems and your desires. But if you want those things to realize, what you got to do is you got to put your attention outside. You start appreciating the plants, you start appreciating the animals, you start appreciating the wild world, the river, everything that we have here. Because that's the thing that when you stop thinking about yourself, then everything will fall into place. And so, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> I think you're going to like it. Yeah. Now, it produces some really strange phenomena. I couldn't say, look at this guy. <laughs> 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 so we come up with all kinds of things, but believe me, you know they work. You know they work. You know, everybody, in, everybody in their own way. You know? <laughs> so thanks a lot for your attention. Yeah, it. it's it's good. Good. You do whatever you want. If I can help with it, come on by. Okay. Also rote Medizin ist manipulative Medizin, dann die weiße Medizin ist die heilende Medizin und die schwarze Medizin ist sozusagen die Machtmedizin. Ja.